I always return. I'm always there for Christmas. And then always in the summer, it's the 14th year. My aunt and I started a hockey camp for boys and girls when I was a sophomore at the University of Minnesota. And so it's already the 14th summer of running one. And so I'm always in the summer there in Warroad. And um, I love, and I have so many cousins who are in the program or, uh, so I, I know so many of the Warroad youth so kids in the youth association because I go back and I skate or they're my cousin's classmates. It's a really special place where you can skate with no limit and really um, outside as well, like on the lake or the river. We got to skate with um, any age group, any time, you know, anytime you wanted to skate, you basically got to go and on Saturday and the ice was free. And so like on Saturdays, we would call them seven hour Saturdays where you know, my buddies and I, we would just go to the rink and the only time we would come off the ice is to use the blow dryers in the um, bathroom to warm up our skates and gloves or else go and eat when our parents would bring food to the lobby. And so the, the generosity of the people there and the community, um, it, like I was talking about with the open door policy and skating and, you know, everyone's willing to let you get on the ice. You know, everyone um, allows you to skate at their practice and, and just like the good nature hearts of the people that live in Warroad. We're a very small town. Like, I mean, I had a class of 113 and two of us were on the U.S. Olympic team for, for just hockey. We have 1,700 people, I think, have had over 10 Olympians, multiple NHLers, so many D1 college athletes, like both men and women or hockey players. And so I think the simplest thing is, I mean, all these players who have gone there and had incredible international success and professional success, like we know them personally. They're not just this random person. It's it's our neighbor. It was my third grade gym teacher. You know, he was an Olympian in 72. Um, he played college hockey at Bemidji. Um, it's our, it's a, my relatives. And so for us, it's not a matter of if someone's from our world, a hockey program is going to make it big. It's a matter of who. Honestly, my favorite memories are um, at the U, like when playing memories, I should say, are um, having my family in the stands, like Section 11, having the home games, the crowd, like Ritter Arena is easily the best women's rink in the country. And and I think just have, being in the hometown, I've always, no program is better than the U. And I've, I just had so much joy skating for them and I had awesome teammates like we had so much fun and I just love them so much and so both of it the environment um, and knowing I'm from Minnesota and had so many family and friends there to encourage and support us but and then also the dynamic of like how awesome our team was and how fun they were and the, just the camaraderie we all had.